Good evening. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, Newsflash. You can't. can't live in the past and you can't live in the future the only time you can live is now N-O-W now and I'm not talking about the National Organization of Women either <laughs> okay now a lot of people spend a lot of time reflecting and I do quite a bit of reflecting but you know reflection is one thing um, living in the past is something else and then a lot of people try to live in the future they try to plan everything out and act as if they're living you know 20 years down the road I'm 69 not 89 okay <laughs> and I'm 69 not 49 you know I'm living in 2023, not 17, not 70 AD. I've said that before too. I'm living in 2023, not 70 AD. And I'm not living in 1947 or 1967. Or I'm not living in the day of my birth, which was 1953. You might say, well, why are you bringing this up? Well. The scripture says think not you know don't don't dwell all this time on the future and today is got enough problems of its own right today's got enough problems of its own consider the lilies of the field they toil not nor spin but Solomon's glory was not arrayed like one of these You know, I've often said that there's life insurance, there's health insurance, there's disability insurance, there's car insurance, there's theft insurance, there's all these different insurance policies that people get to protect themselves from liability. Car insurance, life insurance, health insurance too. The only real insurance is what Christ provides for you. If you're one of his people predestined and blood-bought, freely pardoned, forgiven by the Holy Spirit taught, the greatest insurance plan is eternal life which God gave his people before time began. That's the greatest insurance that we can ever have, right? Old science promotes Darwin and evolution saying things are getting better and better all we need to look at to do is look at our physical constitution we see entropy and decay we look in the mirror and we see evolution is a lie <laughs> the earth is not evolving into something better it will be destroyed by fire the only thing that Christians have to look forward to is our home in heaven where all will be peace and bliss and rest for the forgiven. When we look around us today, we see that we are living in perilous times, don't we? With all the pestilences, earthquakes in divers places, um, and all of the catastrophes, tornadoes, floods, fires, burning down thousands of acres of land. It would appear as though God has let things go out of control. <laughs> God is totally in control though. Totally in control. There are no maverick molecules. God is sovereign.
We have heard the King is coming all of our lives. Amid this turmoil and this strife, we anticipate him coming at any time and say, hear him say, well done my child, and then everything will be fine. But until that day comes, we will wait for his return. And always share the gospel and our candle always burn. Because of his spirit always dwelling in our lives will occupy until he comes splitting the eastern skies. By the way, if any of you would like to have this book of poems that I've been reading from, I'd be happy to send you a PDF copy if you'll send me an email. You'll, they just need to go to LarryWPhillips.com and go to our contact section and send me a request. And I'll be happy to send you this book on poems. Prince Twee Freeman, glad to have you with us this morning. And I'm sure that's a lot of responsibility in your orphanage. You certainly will be in our prayers. And if anyone has the financial capabilities to help out Prince Tweeman Freeman's orphanage, I would encourage you to do so. You know, we have many orphanages, many different orphanages of people listening to us here that oversee orphanages. I have a special place in my heart for orphans. And um, because I was an orphan myself. Not a physical orphan. But I was adopted into the family of God, predestinated unto adoption, chosen in Him before the foundation of the world. So I have a special place in my heart for adopted children, okay? And there's one of these days we're going to we're going to be able to see our Abba Father. And uh, Prince Twish Freeman says we need mattresses. The kids are sleeping on the floor. So if there's anyone that hears this broadcast and, like I say, they have the ability, um, why don't you go to Prince Twee Freeman's Facebook page and, and see how you could send him some money. Um, right now I'm trying to work on the situation with my own family, my own trying to get my son set up so he can be taken care of when we're no longer here. As you, many of you know, we have a disabled son. Well, anyway, I don't beg for money. Um, I never have on any of my social media platforms uh, because what I've learned is when people send money, there's usually something tied to it. They want to try to, to tell you what you sh should be saying on air. I had a gal send me a small gift one time and within a week she was trying to tell me what I need to be saying. <laughs> trying to dictate to me what I should be saying. The love of money is the root of all evil, the Bible says. And it amazes me how sometimes you go to these different ministry broadcast and they spend a significant amount of time talking about money. I don't spend any time talking about money because the love of money is the root of all evil, the Bible says. You know, we have to have it to pay our bills, to keep our utilities on, to keep our water and our lights and our gasoline in our cars and, and, and you know, food on the table and all of that. But I've often said I wish we didn't even have to have money, you know, but but it's a necessary um, evil, put it that way. Well, this morning I hope you have a good weekend this weekend, and um, just remember that we live in the present. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. God has everything in His hands. 
he will give us the guidance to know what we must do when perils and trials come upon us. Um, so let us always remember that he is our guide, he's our comfort, he is our sustainer of our life. May the good Lord be with you today in a special way is my prayer. God bless.